Hello everyone, my name is Hong Ming Xu. I'm from University of Washington. The paper I will present today is titled Multi-Target Multi-Camera Tracking of Vehicles by Grab Auto Encoder and Self-Supervised Commanding Model. My co-author is Yi Zhou Wang, Jia Rui Cai, and my advisor is Professor Zheng Hongfang. This is the outline of this presentation. First, we will talk about what is MTMCT and also the related works. Then I will illustrate our method, including MTMCT by Grab Auto Encoder and the self-supervised commanding model. After that, I will show our experimental results. Finally, I will conclude our MTMCT work. Due to the exponential growth of surveillance networks, multi-camera vehicle tracking is becoming one of the most important tasks. Here is an example of MTMCT from City Pro dataset. The definition of multi-target multi-camera tracking is to determine the position of every vehicle at all times from video streams taken by multiple cameras. In NTMCT, there are several common challenges need to be overcome. The first one is similar vehicle models. The second one is significant feature variation in different orientations. The third one is color variation of the same car due to the lighting conditions. Then also the small objects are hard to be detected. The last one is the occlusion. Due to the field of view, sometimes the checked cars are occluded by each other. This is also increasing the difficulty of checking. To overcome the difficulty of MTMCT, there are some systems are proposed in the past few years. Basically, the state-of-the-art methods consist of two steps, single camera checking and inter camera checking. For single camera checking, there are larger model multiple object checking approaches can be applied to get a single camera checking result. In terms of the inter camera checking, the main, the main criteria is to use the video based ID to associate the single camera checking and also apply the camera link model as the constraint to reduce the candidates of ID. However, the camera link model need to be labeled the zooms the zones and the corresponding zone links manually. Moreover, the existing methods, the reality feature only consider the appearance feature without topological information. Before we dive into the detail of our method, let's explain the idea of in camera link model first. Limited car brand type and color will cause the difficulty of cross camera reality. Therefore, we propose the camera link model to consider the topological and temporal constraints to reduce the potential candidates for VID. Camera link means, means to construct the possible direct connected camera pairs. Here is an example of indirect connected camera pairs. And this one is the direct connected camera pair. The red connected camera pairs indicate that you leaving from one camera and you will get into the other camera's field of view immediately without passing any other cameras. The purpose of the camera link is to establish a topological and temporal relationship between any camera pairs. Therefore, when we do the vehicle reorientation, we don't need to consider the vehicles that not link to the current considered camera. For each transition, we define the time window only the checked vehicle pair whose transition time is inside the window are considered as valid. Here is an example of camera link. There are three cameras with overlapping field of view, camera six, camera seven, and camera eight. The exit entry zones are denoted as purple, red bounding boxes respectively. The exit zone in the camera six purple bounding box and the entry zone in camera eight, red bounding box indicate the same location in the scenario. The vehicles existing from the camera six will appear in the camera eight immediately. Take these two images as an example to explain the camera link model. These two purple trajectories on the right hand side link to these four purple trajectory on the left hand side. In terms of the red trajectory, these four trajectories on the left hand side link to those two trajectories on the right hand side. Based on these trajectories, we can define the upper bound and lower bound of the transition time of each camera pairs. You can see that in this case, for camera link, there are 16 trajectory based camera links. 
Therefore, for each trajectory from single camera checking results, we'll only consider the trajectories we link this period from the linked camera. This is our proposed framework. First of all, we, we use the traffic aware single camera checking to obtain the single camera checking results. Since the main contribution of this work is focused on the inter-camera checking, in our inter-camera checking, there are two parts, feature extraction and the self-supervised camera link model. Let's first introduce the feature extraction part first. The first part of the feature extraction is to use the temporal tension to generate the appearance feature. For inter-camera checking, we, we use ResNet50 as the feature extractor to generate the embedding of each frame. Therefore, we can obtain the 2048 dimension feature vector to represent the car image. Once we get a feature of each frame from the ResNet50, we use the temporal attention model to generate the clip-based embedding, which is to use the learned attention vector to do the weighted sum on those frame-based embedding. According to the temporal tension, we can produce more robust embedding because some occluded images will be assigned less weight for clip-based embedding. Finally, we use, we use the average pooling on those clip-based embedding to generate the trajectory-based embedding. Overall, in our uh, final loss function, the batch sampling triplet loss is combined with the cross entropy loss to train a video-based VID. The second part of the feature extraction is the grab autoencoder. The input of graph autoencoder is the appearance feature from temporal attention model. We define the trajectory association problem as a graph. Each node in this graph is a single camera checking, checking trajectory. Then we want to get the results of MTNCT by solving the graph problem. The contribution of this work is to solve the graph problem by graph autoencoder. Assume we have the adjacency matrix A and the degree matrix D, then we can calculate the tilde A and X means the appearance embedding of the single camera trajectories from all cameras. Therefore, we can get the node matrix L. The graph convolution network is to apply this kind of operation twice to obtain, to obtain Z. By using Z and the sigmoid function sigma, we can calculate the reconstruct, reconstruction error. Then since we can predict the adjacency matrix, we can use the cross entropy to optimize the network. Finally, we will concatenate the appearance feature and the graph embedding as the final embedding. Please read our paper to see the details. Once we have the final embedding, we can compute the distance matrix to select high Compton trajectory to construct the camera link model automatically. Now let's introduce the self-supervised camera link model. We use the hierarchical cluster to generate the high confidence trajectory to establish the camera link model. Once we construct the camera link model, we can apply the hierarchical cluster again to generate the final global trajectory cross cameras. Here's, here is a feature to illustrate the process of hierarchical clustering. The same as the, previ uh, the, same as the related work, the trajectories that, that are not satisfied with the camera link and all the constraints will not be considered for clustering. Therefore, the camera link can be established automatically by self-supervised approach. Here is our experimental result. According to a table, you can see that our proposed method achieves the state-of-the-art performance idea one about 77% and 55% in the CD flow 2019 and 2020 data set respectively. This is our ablation study. In this table, you also can see that the graph auto encoder can improve the performance of ID1 by 2.3% in labeled camera, camera link model. Although using self camera link model, the ID1 is lower than using the labeled camera link model, but still can achieve over 75% accuracy. Here is the quantitative result of the proposed method. In conclusion, First, we propose a new MTNCT framework, especially designed for vehicles. Second, we utilize the novel graph autoencoder to construct more robust feature for inter camera checking. Then we create a self-supervised camera link model method to use the special temporal constraints to reduce the solution space for cross-camera vehicle reallocation. 
Finally, we achieved the new state of the art performance on the CD floor data set. This is all my presentation. Thank you.